Sports. It's in the game. 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 EA Sports. It's in the game.
Captain Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello. Hello to you and welcome. A meaningful occasion, and all week long the football chatter has centered around this game and these talented teams. Which one will outwit the other in a packed and passionate stadium? So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. Stay tuned for all the action. And a warm welcome on what is a fine a city alive with the spirit of excitement and a stadium brimming with anticipation. The build-up been intense, and now we just can't wait for it all to begin. It's anyone's guess, though, which team will come out on top. All the action coming up on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't... Welcome along to an evening that was made for football. The pitch is in great order too. I'm Guy Mowbray to bring you commentary along with England legend Sue Smith. And everything is set up nicely to give us a really good match. It's into Miami and they take on Al Nasser. Cheers, Guy. Well, it's a pleasure to be here and I'm anticipating a good game today. The coaching staff have done all they can. Now it's about taking it onto the pitch. Here's how the home side lines up. Yeah, it looks like a 4-3-3, and they are really good out wide. The relationships with both wingers and fullbacks are great, and the latter constantly providing overlaps to create 2v1 situations. Both have got good delivery, so it's just about getting on the end of things. This is how Al Nasser line up. Yeah, it looks like a 4-5-1 or a 4-2-3-1. This can be quite an attacking lineup with the three progressive players behind the lone striker. But you've still got that defensive protection with the two midfielders holding. Thank you for attending. Have a great time at today's match. Well, the weather forecaster has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's into Miami, and they face Al Nasser. Well, a quick start to the game is all important here today, and I'm sure both managers will have drilled that into the players but they also have to play with composure and a tactical understanding. It should be a good game. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good, but it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? 
We'll have to wait to see how it develops. Thank you for attending. Have a great time at today's match. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's into Miami, and they face Al Nasser. Well, as always, I'm looking forward to this because both teams have strong aspects to their game. Both managers like to play attacking football, and we've got some good matchups all over the pitch. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4 3 3 formation, so they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield players making runs into the penalty area. That's a must. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, in this 4 5 1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy the match. Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. Perfect playing conditions. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary. Delighted to be joined by Sue Smith. And it's time to begin another new season of the Premier League. Full of the usual highs and lows. It's Arsenal versus Manchester City. Well, the atmosphere is so loud in here. There's a real buzz in and around the stadium. The fans are looking forward to the new season and what they could achieve. Three points would be a great start Hello today. Hello to you though. and welcome to another exciting game brought to you by EA TV. I'm Guy Mowbray. Alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. And we've got La Liga EA Sports action coming right up. It's Real Madrid facing Atletico Madrid. Well, thanks, Guy. I can't wait for this one today. The atmosphere is buzzing. And I'm hoping the football is up to it. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. Well, it's even Steven after an entertaining first half. Will we get a winner in the second 45?
played through nicely. Now, this has to be. And it's in. It's no longer goalless. There's the opener. Well, here's the replay, and it's an inch-perfect pass, this is. Shows great awareness to set up the chance. And Messi shows great awareness to get on the end of it. And when he's through 1v1 with the goalkeeper, he fires it past him. So off we go at 1-0. Alex Telles. Able to skip well, that's past. really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And the referee has given them a corner. And short it is. Failure to hold the ball on the part of Jordi Alba. Messi cutting in from the flank. Oh, in with a chance! Well! How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Well, this is a brilliant finish. Great awareness, good technique and a bit of composure as well. What an excellent goal that is. for the no. visitors this could be threatening a really good interception to take the ball Jordi Alba breaking at pace this could be dangerous Messi in behind can he finish and another goal it seemed all over before but there's another to really seal it here's the replay and it's a nice bit of skill to beat his man that he keeps his composure to finish it off well it's a quality goal lap Possession given away, unfortunately. It's a bit of a struggle for both sides to keep the ball right now. He's in with a chance. Opportunity still there. Oh, look at that. They've taken the lead. Well, they haven't been the dominant team so far, but they're certainly not complaining about the scoreline. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. Usually plays keep ball better than anyone, Busquets, but not then. Good idea. Messi just needs to remain composed. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, let's see this again. What a pass this is from Suarez. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance.
Okavian. The shot's on. Oh, well saved. Ronaldo. And there it is, the goal. really almost from another planet oh, the goalkeeper did his very best but I think he might have regrets that he didn't get hold of that well they want to see this again this goal I have to say it's so one-sided today but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals Erling Haaland. Now Haaland. Haaland. Arsenal have it back now. City trying to get things moving. Real chance. And they've scored again. That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. Well, here's the replay. Goal for Manchester City. Number nine, He's never going to miss that, is he? It's an easy finish in the end. So away we go again at 2 0 now. Bernardo Silva. Haaland. Oh, that's been won really smartly. to be and it's a pretty good save by the keeper Enrico Valverde Kylian Mbappe Rodrigo Vinicius Junior in behind can he finish and there's the opener the all-important first goal of the game Another look now, and you can see he's under all sorts of pressure here. He's done well, though, to fend them off. Really strong play and a good finish, too. The action is underway once more, with the onus on Atletico to find a response. Depor. Antoine Griezmann. Correa. Atletico pushing forward with options available. And the promise of something happening is over. Uh, the ball. And it's all You're over. Happy faces right around the ground. What are your thoughts, Sue? It was a real hard-fought game. Both teams showed moments of quality. They worked hard, but overall, they'll be happy with the results and the performance. Well, good marks today, as ever, for Lionel Messi's performance. More than satisfactory. Yeah, I thought he was a constant threat. His movement was good and created a lot of chances. Just needed to be a bit more composed in front of goal. But he did get one, and the team won, so I'm sure he's smiling. for the visitors well Derek it was a tight game both sides had their moments and chances but overall they just about shaded it a well-earned victory no two ways about it he really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings well he did everything today his energy skill and movement was just too good for those defenders it was a really good display
And that whistle brings the first half to a close. As far as the home fans are concerned, Sue, what did you make of their performance? Well, that was really comfortable, wasn't it? The play going forward was so clinical. Took them apart at times and produced some top quality finishes too. It's a great result. Stopped a certain goal. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Oh dear Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. He's really quiet. He usually bosses around everywhere, Lionel Messi. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, he was on fire today, not just with his finishing, but also his general play. That was a top-class hat-trick. for the home team no complaints from the fans here well Derek what a good performance that was they did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge that was a really dominant display from them today it's a very well fought victory here the referee is now put that in the record books by blowing the final whistle. 3-0 the margin of victory. Well, I never think friendly is the right word for a football match, but it is one that's in constant use. That this was not friendly. Not at all. But refreshing really, because so many times they can be fairly stale, dull affairs. Not here. We had so much to look at. And it's Manchester City who take the three points. Yeah, it was a close game, lots of energy from both sides. They didn't really match, weren't they? But I think they deserve the results overall. OK, there we are, full time here. And it's Real Madrid who will go home happy, having taken all the points. Yeah, it was a real competitive match. Both teams creating opportunities. But I think on the balance of play, they deserve the results. And it's a pretty good save by the kick. Now, this has to be. And it's in. It's no longer goalless. There's the opener. And this could be. behind can he finish
this has to be. Messi! Well, after pressing like that, maybe the short route to goal. Opportunity. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. And in with a real chance. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Oh, it might be. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. And it's opening up. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's... Chance to make a game of it here. Well, I think fair to say, Stuart, not one for his personal scrapbook. Well, that's really wayward. His technique can put... Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, in with a chance. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. A glorious chance. Messi! Well, after pressing like that, maybe the short route to goal. Opportunity. Well, as he hit that one, it looked as though it had a chance. And in with a real chance. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing... What a chance here. Must be. Found nicely and in. Promising looking ball. What can they do from here?
Well, that is high-level goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. That's goalkeeping of the highest quality. I've... Takes the shot. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Opportunity still there. Oh, look at that. They've taken the lead. Well, they haven't been the dominant team so far, but they're certainly not. That's a good pass. Can he do it? They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder this. Might be a chance here. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. And this is Brozovic, Ronaldo, and the keeper flings himself at the ball. Real chance. Four marks for trying it. And this confrontation is underway. Lionel Messi. He takes aim. And what a magical save it was. Well, I must say, I thought they were about to illuminate the scoreboard with the. And he's broken free in position and just like that Lionel Messi has scored the first goal was always going to be important Messi ball is loose and there it is an almost intuitive piece of finishing that's a good pass Lionel Messi's got past the defenders. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Good idea. Messi just needs to remain composed. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him.
Let's go for Arsenal. 